Hey guys, it's Grillmeister Damon here. And Lou Barbecue. We've got a really quick, easy recipe for you here. This is a shrimp stuffed mushroom appetizer. Yeah, really easy. Only what, two, one, two, three, four ingredients? Maybe five with the rubs. So we're starting with some shrimp. Yeah. Uh, does, these are what, brown shrimp that those you have here? brown shrimp. Those are probably about the most common shrimp you're gonna find in the store. You can use brown shrimp, white shrimp, you name it. I'm gonna give them a little coating of some spray oil because I want my rub to adhere to the shrimp and also that spray oil will help to prevent the shrimp from sticking to the grill grates. Yes. I'm gonna do that on both sides. And we've skewered these with some bamboo skewers that we have uh, soaked in water. This is gonna be a little bit of a high temp sort of grilling situation rather than low and slow. So we don't want those skewers to burn. No, we do not. We want that shrimp to be as dry as possible too. So we patted it dry with some paper towels before we even started here. The drier it is, the easier it's gonna cook. On the grill, they're gonna go. We're at about uh, 400 degrees on the grill grate here itself. So we should get a nice little sear, a nice little char on here. Yep. And while he's doing that, I am going to kind of, kind of clean out these little baby Bella mushroom caps that I bought. You can use portobello mushroom caps. Just about anything will work. Now, one of the other ingredients we have already got done over here is stuffing. This is like box stuffing. The stuff that you would get uh, at the grocery store requires nothing more than a little bit of onion, some butter, and uh, and celery. stock celery. Celery. Okay, but uh, any sort of any sort of pre-made stuffing will work really well for this. One of the things that we did on the stovetop here previously is Lou removed the mushroom caps, diced them up, and gave them a quick sauté. So we're adding that to the stuffing mixture as well. Yes. We did add some of our Croix Valley Italian booster to the stuffing because season, mm. season, season everything. We're just looking to make sure they turn opaque. We're not necessarily going for an internal temperature. These are just way too small to be probing anyhow. Once they're firm and opaque, they're done. Okay, shrimp is ready to come off here. Like I mentioned before, all we're doing is making sure that they're opaque and cooked all the way through. But we don't want to overdo it because they would dry out pretty quickly if we let them get away from us. Absolutely would. They may be rubbery balls. Okay. I'm just going to take these right off of the skewers, <clears throat> dice them up for our dish. Okay. I'm going to throw some stuffing in my bowl here. And these would be great just straight off the grill. Just yum. They are, absolutely. I mean, Fun shrimp are snack. extremely quick and easy to cook. This would be great for pasta or uh, anything else. And, and one of the things that I would mention here before we dice these up is that it's really important to make sure that everything that you're making for your guests is super well seasoned, so you should always eat one first. <laughs> That's right, you oh, eat as you delicious. go. You gotta taste everything. Mm-hmm. How's it taste? Super flavorful, mm -hmm. moist, juicy, delicious. I'm going with a fine dice here because we do have a uh, restricted amount of space that we're going to be able to fit this into being that we're using such smaller mushrooms here so l much larger chunks just going to mean that there's a disproportionate amount of shrimp versus the stuffing and i think putting these together in a really even mix is part and parcel to why this tastes so delicious you want to start mixing these up here then Absolutely. i'll continue to add additional shrimp as i cut them okay. i'm just going to grab little Little balls of stuffing and shrimp there to make sure that I'm getting all that good flavor in there. And I'm just using my hands right here and just stuff that right in the mushroom. Don't, don't be stingy on either. Now, There's lots now, of goodness in there. Now, I want mine extra shrimpy, so extra here, shrimpy. mix that in, would you? Okay. These are going to make a great appetizer. Anytime we get together with folks, we're usually requested to bring stuffed mushrooms. This is one of the easiest methods to do it. Whether you're utilizing shrimp or perhaps an Italian sausage or some other protein in there, this same method can be utilized and create an entirely different experience every single time. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of the Italian barbecue booster to the top. Just add in one more dimension of flavor. Season, 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 season. Season, season. as you go. Can't say that enough. I'm gonna add some shredded Parmesan cheese. Cool. It's fun that you do this outside and it just falls on the ground. Don't it's do perfect. that at home. Absolutely perfect. <laughs> there you go, on the grill they go. Perfect. Yeah, let that, that up for you. There we go, right on the middle of the grate we go. 
should only take about 10 15 minutes looking for a little bit of tenderness to the mushroom and then we've got the perfect appetizer ready to eat all right we've checked the mushrooms here just a moment ago getting a little bit of a sizzle yeah. on the grill here you see that they've become nice and tender i can tell just by grabbing them with the tongs so i'm going to grab this out carefully nice and steady nice and steady but you can see the benefit of having that screen once again i can take absolutely everything off all at the same time without having to worry about it i'm going to plate these up here and then i want to cut into one just to show how nice and tender these are wow look at that this really only took a few minutes There's some delicious mushrooms there yeah let me show you this guy right here Cutting right into this. Still a little bit of a bite down there. This mushroom is no longer hard. There's a nice little bite to it. Very tender. As soon as those cool off, you can pop them in your mouth and you and your guests are gonna love them. All right, Lou, you wanna do the honors? You wanna try? Yes, absolutely. They look really good. Certainly nice and tender, delicious. That's the way a stuffed mushroom should be. So again, guys, really quick recipe. Hope that you enjoyed it. Take some more inspiration from this and head on over to CroyValleyFoods.com where you'll find a ton of other recipes, videos, grilling tips and tricks, and a whole lot more. Lou's gonna finish eating, I have to clean up. But as always, we'll see you around the grill.